I hope this is good. I'm not enjoying this. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Ohayo gozaimasu. Good morning. We are here at Tokyo Disneyland for my first visit in 2024. It is a cold day, but also a low crowd day, so I'll explain all that later. And we're also going to be checking out Minis Thunderland, which is their event that's happening now until March 19th, 2024. We're going to try the food, look at the merchandise, and the decorations. So, with that said, let's go! did the front up with Minnie. That is really adorable. I like when they change the front here. It looks like there's a lot of people, but it actually really wasn't that crowded at the front when I got here. It's always like this first thing in the morning, though. Everyone's coming in. They opened up the park 15 minutes early today, 8.45. Yeah, this will clear out very soon, probably within half an hour. But as soon as you get in, always get your Disney premiere access and your entry requests and all that for the attractions and shows that you want. Just so you're not uh, left disappointed, you know? Here is the entrance. So they did it up. Minis Thunderland. So they just have the, the banners here, it looks like. Everything else is the 40th still. I do like the color palette. I think it's really cute. Oh, they did that too. Okay. I know there's more decorations in here in the World Bazaar. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go get something to eat first and wait for this to clear out because there's a lot of people and I want to get a picture of the bow. You can see that there. We're going to get a waffle from the Great American Waffle Company. I always do this first thing because the line gets really long. So I want to do it now just to get it out of the way. Also, I just, I want a waffle. This is my first Mickey waffle of 2024. I'm having the lemon cheese Mickey waffle. So it looks like it, there's lemon cheese inside the ear. And we have some whipped cream with some hearts, or a heart, and little silver metallic looking pink balls. <laughs> We're gonna drizzle the maple syrup on here and tail this lemon cheese taste because I'm excited for it. You can see the lemon and cheese there, and it is very potent. It is very much lemon, delicious. I don't taste much of the cheese yet. Might be more of an aftertaste. I got maple syrup in my beard, and this is sticking to my face. I was right, the cheese is an aftertaste. This is probably my favorite version that we've had in the last while, because I know we did the one for Christmas, which was kind of eh. And then we did the one for Halloween as well, which I did like. This one is probably the best out of the three that I've had over the few months here. Light, fluffy, delicious, crunchy. I still stand by. I think these are the best Mickey waffles at any Disney park, Disney resort in the world. I'd especially put maybe a bow for Minnie on here. I think that probably would have made it more elevated, I would say. Missed opportunity. Anyway, that's just more aesthetics. Taste-wise, brilliant. I'm going to give this an easy five out of five. We are off to a great start. My belly is full of waffles. And now we're gonna go and look at the decorations because there's some decorations. And just as I predicted, a lot of people have dispersed. Before we look at the decorations, I want to tell you about this video sponsor, WDW Magazine. The place to get your Disney fix with their monthly print and digital magazine. It's a great way to stay updated with the happenings at Walt Disney World and other Disney parks around the world, including Tokyo Disneyland. They showcase beautiful photos, easy to follow tips, and some issues even have articles written by yours truly. Save 20% off your first year of subscription by using my code EXPLORER20 at checkout. You can scan the QR code on your screen or visit explore.wdwmag.com. You can also click the link in the description. WDW Magazine makes a fantastic gift for the Disney fan in your life. If you give WDW Magazine as a present, not only are you sharing the magic, but you're also supporting my channel at the same time. It's a win-win. We got Minnie's polka dots, her famous polka dots. And they have, right in the middle here, a bow. Big old bow you can get your picture in front of. And then on the other side, this is going to be hard to record because there's mirrors, but there are mirrors here. 
We got Mickey and Pluto. That is really cute. We have some pink shadows on the ground here. There's a bow. What's going on? Oh, they have decals on the windows up there. That's a nice little touch. I haven't seen them do that before. The window here, they have the artwork for the event. Minis Funderland, Palpalooza. I really like the color scheme. I think it's really pretty. I love the little frills that they have on all the banners. That's super cute. Everyone's in their pink attire. I do like the frills though. I haven't seen them do that before. We got Goofy here. Pink and green, huh, okay. Mickey here. Ooh, the pink and blue is really pretty. Oh, look at Pluto. I like the little heart headband. Ears, whatever that's called. And look at this collar, he has a little mini bow. Oh, oh look who it is. It's my boys. They are looking adorable. I kind of like that. The pink and the purple and the yellow. It looks really good. Very colorful for winter. Oh, I like that they put little mini bows on all the shrubs here. Well, not all of them, but there's a few. That's fun. We got Donald here. Looking nice and dapper. So he has the pink and purple motif here. And then we have Her Majesty, Daisy. Oh, look at this. They have polka dot garbage cans. That's fine, they got Minnie's bow too. <laughs> The sun is facing the wrong way right now, so getting pictures and videos is a little tough. We're gonna come back and look at the photo op stuff later, just so I don't blow out all the images. So we're gonna go and uh, get some more food. Why not? We're here at the Sweetheart Cafe, and we're trying a bunch of the food. The Sweetheart Cafe always has event-specific food. We got a sandwich, we got a muffin, we have a mousse. So first we're having this shrimp and avocado burger sandwich. I keep calling it a burger. We're just going to keep that in. It's a sandwich, not a burger. The packaging is on point. The packaging here is always so good. Food, we'll have to see. It's hit or miss here. There is sparkles, sprinkles, sparkles, glitter, whatever you want to call it on the burger. And it has like a pink tinge to it. And on the inside there's shrimp and avocado and some other stuff. Now, just to preface everything, I'm not a big fan of shrimp. Unless it's like tempura shrimp, then I can slather it in tartar sauce. But if it's on a sandwich, I'm typically not a big fan. So I'm kind of anticipating I'm not going to care for this, but I needed to try it anyway. Because sometimes I could be wrong. You never know. No, thank you. I'm not enjoying this. I'm trying to chew it all and swallow it. No, I really don't like this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pop the shrimp off. I'm gonna try and get the other stuff inside the burger. The shrimp is very powerful. It overpowers everything in here. The cabbage is very vinegary and the avocado, can't really taste it. It's being overpowered by the shrimp and the, and the, the vinegar and the cabbage. I'm gonna give this a one, one out of five. I don't like it. The one comes from the packaging. The packaging is super cute. If you like cold shrimp, I think you'll enjoy this. But for me, no, it's too heavy on the, the shrimp flavor. No, thank you. Now. However, the souvenir lunch case is always a hit. I do like the souvenir lunch case. I think that is really cute with Minnie Mouse on here. Adorable. And the best part about this is you can put all your souvenir mugs and stuff in it. 
It's not lined or anything, so there's no lining inside. To get the souvenir case, you have to buy the sandwich. You have to buy the special set. Now we're going to be trying this muffin. Hopefully this muffin is better than the sandwich. This is a strawberry muffin, and there's some cute little colorful whipped cream on the top. But more importantly, you can get the souvenir plate with it. It's Minnie's bow. I have so many of these like little plates, it's ridiculous. I like using these to put them at the front of my Genkon. Genkon's like the entrance into a Japanese apartment or house. And I'll put like rubber bands? Why would I put rubber bands in there, Chris? You don't even do that. I'll sometimes put like my keys or something I need to remember in here. And it's nice just to like swap it out every season. It's just a nice little touch. That's what I use it for typically. I do like the motif. I like the pink and the blue motif. I think that's really cute. I was worried this was going to be dry. It is nice and moist and look at, look at how squishy it is. Icing, just tastes like sugar. The strawberry on the muffin is very subtle, but it's there. If I'm being honest, I was totally expecting to not like this at all. Pretty plain, like it's a muffin with icing, right? Like not much you can really do to make it super exciting. I'm going to give this a two and a half. We have a souvenir cup with Minnie Mouse all over it. Her beautiful self. I have so many of these, just like the plates. These, I don't know what to do with usually. To me, it's really not enough for tea. It's pretty to look at. I find more use with the plates than I do with the cups, but the cups are super cute though. And these are all ceramic. So it came with the mousse. That color motif is really nice. So there's lemon jelly and cheese cream, che a cheese mousse and some jelly on the bottom. I hope this is good. So they're definitely going with the lemon theme for all the food because the waffle that we had earlier was lemon. I do like lemon. Ooh, that's sweet. Tastes like a lemon like lollipop. That's kind of what the vibe is giving. I'm more curious about the cheese mousse here. Ooh, it's like a light and fluffy cheesecake. Mmm, jelly on the bottom. I can't quite tell what it is. You know what we're gonna assume? Either grape or lavender. Grape. Okay, this is really good. This is gonna get a three and a half. I just wish there was more. I need to let my, I was gonna say, I need to let my dust settle. What does that even mean? I need to let my stomach settle. <laughs> so, you know what we should do? We should go check out some merchandise because there is really colorful merchandise. I head to the store and check out what they have for merch. So I know they have some really cute stuff. Hey, Minnie. I feel like there was supposed to be something here, but it's not. Probably sold out. But we have some stickers. It's a cute little sticker set. 800 yen for these. I know I'm going to be a broken record but I just, I really like the color palette that they chose for this. I think it's really cute. Mm. Is this my beloved clear files? Oh, sort of, okay. Oh, I see, okay. So they have the little holders here, the ones in the front, and you can use them to take pictures. Give yourself little accessories. Then there is a clear file inside, 900 yen. I just want the clear file, I don't really want these. I just want the clear fox. I want the art. Oh, it opens up here. I do like this for the art. I think it's really pretty. Tomika's. So this is the resort cruiser. How much is this? 1,500 yen. a nice little design. Oh, and they have little keychains of Minnie. Oh, she's in her different outfits throughout the years. Okay. I think that's the Princess Days. Uh, which one? This is... Oh. It's not Minnie. Minnie or Minnie? Minnie or Minnie, maybe. And I believe that's We Love Minnie. I think that was from the event in either 2020 or 2021. That is the Legend of Mythica, that was at Disney Sea, And this is Mysterious Masquerade, also at Disney Sea. These are all shows from the past. The little blind boxes, that's what they are. So 900 yen, if you wanna try your hand at seeing which one you'll get. Or, if you're like me and you don't have the patience, you just wanna buy them all. So you can buy the whole thing. 
So you make sure you get them all. 4,500 yen for those. Oh, I've never seen this before. They're advertising the food that's at the Plaza Pavilion. Interesting, okay, that's cool. Oh, I like the coasters, they look like they're felt. Little felt coasters. And the drink, I wanna, I wanna get the drink. And those postcards. That spaghetti looks really tasty too. Oh, we have some mini ears. Yeah, these are new for the event. I like the metallic pink on here. 2200 yen for those. Oh, it's a blanket that folds into her bow. 5500 yen. I don't want to take it out, but I'm guessing it's the artwork. Yeah, the artwork from the clear file. It looks really warm. It's a fleece blanket. A little mini towel. A mini, mini towel. <laughs> 7,800 or 780 yen. What is this? Oh, it's a mirror. 2,000 yen. Okay, it folds out. It stands. That's nice. Oh, what's down here? Uh, we have little drawstring bags. Here's what they all look like. Twenty four hundred yen for these. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, because you know I've been doing merch stuff and all this for almost ten years now, you know I used to collect these, but I stopped because I was getting so many. And that's kind of why I switched to clear files because those are easier to store in binders. Well, we have a Minnie Mouse pin. Twelve hundred yen. I remember when these were. I think they were eight or nine hundred yen before. And they were a thousand in for the longest time. Now they've gone up to twelve hundred. I mean, just like everywhere in the world, things have gone up in price. The pin is cute, though. Another pin badge set, can badge set. I mean, eleven hundred yen for those. Those are nice. <gasps> postcards. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get the postcards. I have a binder for postcards. Ooh, I like the metallic look on that one. So three postcards. And it is 750 yen. Got the designs on the back. And remember, you can send postcards from both the parks. There's a shop, there's a stationary shop here. It's next door. And you can actually get postcard or stamps to send stuff. Uh, you just have to tell them you're sending internationally and they'll give you the right amount of stamps. Put the address on there, write your thing, and then when they send it, they put a special stamp on it. It's a fun little, fun little thing. Oh, we have Omiyage. So there's 20 little candies in here for 900 yen. See little candies. Oh, they're little gummies. That's really cute. Look at Minnie on there. Oh. What are the candies? Raspberry is one and a peach. What are these? A little chocolates, 1200 yen. Oh, like the little Smarties, I see. Little Smarties in there. Look at that. They match her color motif. A nice little tote bag here. 5500 yen comes with a little extra bag that looks like her bow love for everyone yes love for everyone it's a little too frilly for me not really my style but hey maybe it's your style if you see anything in the video that you like please let me know i want to know what people like because i constantly tell you what i like <laughs> you're probably sick of me talking about clear files and postcards <laughs> on the inside. Busy talking. Oh, the inside's really nice. There's a little pocket here. Uh, it's like a canvas inside. Oh, what is this? Oh, and it's acrylic stand for the little Minnie Mouse plush. Oh, I see. That's fun. 
1,500 yen. I haven't seen the plush. I mean, it's sold out. I have to go search for it. So it looks like the pin badge, the stuffed badge with uh, Minnie Mouse in the bigger version is sold out, unfortunately. Uh, don't know when that'll come back. It looked really cute though. I saw pictures of it. We're gonna go and ride Who's Honey Hunt because I didn't check. I forgot about this. Beauty and the Beast is closed until the 25th of January. It's down for some refurbishment. Also, the Haunted Mansion is down because they're switching it back to the regular version. They're still doing the 40th anniversary priority pass stuff for a lot of the attractions like Pooh's Honey Hunt and whatnot. It's effectively a fast pass is what it is. It's free through the app, which is different from the Disney Premier Access, which is paid. Now there's none left for Pooh's Honey Hunt, so we're just gonna do regular standby. Now, I. I think they're probably gonna get rid of the, the naming for the 40th anniversary Priority Pass stuff. They'll probably just rename it. That's my guess. They haven't said, because it's specific for the 40th anniversary, but I speculate that it's probably gonna stick around and they're just gonna rename it to something else. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. 45 minutes, that is not bad at all. They changed the rules a while back. I don't know, maybe like four or five months ago, we can actually record on Pooh's Honey Hunt now. It only took 20 some years because before they would ask you not to record on it or take pictures or anything, but now you can. And same thing with Haunted Mansion. You can take photos and videos on Haunted Mansion now, so that's nice. And I think same thing with Tower of Terror inside the queue because they're pretty strict about that. They would tell you to not take pictures in the queue. I never understood it myself, but it's a nice welcome change. While we're waiting, we're gonna do mobile ordering for some food for lunch. Um, I have it in Japanese, but it is available in English. I'm just too lazy to change it. But I noticed they did extend how many restaurants do mobile ordering. So back in, I believe, September, we did the Halloween video. They only had two restaurants at Disneyland. I think Disney Sea also has some more as well. So if you wanna watch my video from Halloween, I'll put it up on the screen so you can check out how to do the mobile ordering but they have Huey Dewey Louie's Good Time Cafe, Tomorrowland Terrace, Grandma Sarah's Kitchen, which we're gonna order from, Captain Hook's Galley, and Plasma Rays. Awesome. I'm so happy that they're expanding it to different restaurants. So it's 10 to one. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll be done before 1.30. Definitely gonna get in this. So in English, it has everything in here in English. If you switch the app to English, most of you watching will have it set to English. I'm just, whatever, have it in Japanese. But I'm gonna get the special set. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I want. Yum. What do I want to drink? Do I want iced coffee? No. I'm gonna get oolong, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna get oolong tea. Oh, they have the, the desserts, which I already did. Perfect. Yay, our order went through. So we can pick it up between 1.50 and 1.30. Beautiful. Hi, Pooh. It's your thoughtful spot. When waiting in the queue here, I love reading the story. Definitely a must do attraction.
think I point this out almost every time I come in here, but the honey is from Alberta in Canada. Makes me very proud. And very fitting for Winnie the Pooh. Our path is blocked to lunch due to a parade, and I'm not mad at it. Get our mobile order picked up here at Grandma Sarah's kitchen. We're in the special set right here. That's what we're getting. I just love how cozy it is in here. And you go down into the burrow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get our seat and then we're gonna say that we're here. Oh man, there's like nobody here. Oh, I love it. We just did our mobile order, so they're preparing it right now. So I thought, while we're waiting, I'll talk about the low season that I mentioned. So right now, right after New Year's, the first week of New Year's is usually pretty busy. And same with just after Christmas. So December 25th onwards, that's when a lot of people are on vacation in Japan. School, work, all that. Christmas is not a thing here. Like, it's on a celebrated holiday. But New Year's is big. It's a big family holiday, so everyone travels home and everything, and everyone's off. So it's usually pretty busy. But right after, everything just dips because everyone's back at work, back at school. So that is a good time to come and visit if you want low crowds. The only trade-off is it's gonna be cold. So it's nine degrees, nine, 10 degrees Celsius right now. As you can see, I am dressed for the weather. And when it gets into the evening, it's gonna get a little bit colder. You're gonna wanna layer. You wanna wear layers because we're right on the ocean and it's a little humid. So humid cold kind of gets you right, right to the core, right to your bones. So let's look at the wait times. As I mentioned, Beauty and the Beast is currently down for refurbishment, so we don't have any wait times to look at there. Baymax is at 50 minutes. Who's Honey Hunt is up to 55. We waited 45 for that one. But Small World, five minutes. 55 minutes for Pooh is actually pretty good. I think like for Pooh and for Baymax, they're gonna be a little bit higher this time around just because Beauty and the Beast is currently closed because that's a big people eater. And same with Haunted Mansion, that is currently closed because they're changing from the Haunted Mansion holiday over to the normal Haunted Mansion. So we have two big attractions that are currently closed and that's what would swallow up a lot of people, right? Splash Mountain's at 40 minutes, Big Thunder Mountain's 40 minutes. Jungle Cruise is five minutes. Pirates of the Caribbean is 10 minutes. Very low across the board. And Monsters, Inc. is 10 minutes. Space Mountain is 40 minutes. And remember, Space Mountain is closing permanently. Yeah, they're closing it completely after July 31st because they're transforming it into a different version. Let's pop over to Disney Sea real quick in the app here. See how the wait times are going over there. We have Soaring, 90 minutes. That's actually really good. <laughs> 90 minutes for Soaring? That's almost unheard of. You know it's quiet when. Oh yeah, Toy Story is also closed too. Tower of Terror, 50 minutes. Journey to the, uh, little bit bay. the, journey to the center of the earth, 50 minutes. 20,000 leagues, 50 minutes. Sinbad, five minutes. I mean, Sinbad's never really a high weight. Raging Spirits, 45, and Indiana Jones is also currently temporarily closed. The only trade-off with coming during this time is, yeah, we may have major ride closures because it's their lower season, so there's a higher chance something is going to be closed for refurbishment, which I guess makes sense from an operational standpoint. So that's also something to keep in mind. Low crowds, but some big attractions may be closed, so you have to check that. It's usually about six months out is when they announce closures like that. So keep an eye on our website. I have a link in the description for all that. Oh, and perfect timing. Our food is ready, so let's go get some food. <laughs> I'm really excited for this one. So we have an omelet rice, which is their staple here at Grandma Sarah's. Grandma Sarah knows how to make a delicious omelet rice also called amu rice in Japanese. It's very much a comfort food. And this has two types of cheese sauce on it. 
there's white cheese, there's pink cheese, <laughs> and there's also cheddar cheese, and it looks like Parmesan on there as well. And there's also some meatballs, and we have a apple and tea cake. Not apple tea, but apple and tea cake. It smells delicious. Cheese? Cheese on anything? Come on. Come on. Come on. I like the little mini on here. She's just chilling on top of cheese. I mean, she's all of us, right? Just laying on some cheese. <laughs> Who doesn't want to lay on a bed of cheese and then eat it? So let's look at the, the cheese here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> ah, yum, yum, yum. That looks delicious, it really does. Doesn't look like there's much else in here besides the, the rice and the cheese and the omelet. Stuck in my roof of my mouth. The pink cheese is just pink cheese. Cheese, I mean, it doesn't taste like anything. I thought maybe it was gonna be strawberry. Um, it's very plain. I can use some spice, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this meatball and mix it in with the rice and the cheese. And there's some tomato sauce in here too. Let's see if that tastes better. Mm. Typically, omelet rice has ketchup rice inside. This is not ketchup rice. It's, I believe it's just buttered rice. So this is, it's kind of missing something. I feel like it's missing something. It's very safe in terms of palate. You know, if you're not very adventurous with your eating, this is very safe. There's no, there's no surprises here. For myself personally, I wish there was just a little bit more, maybe something spicy, I think, would bring it all together. It's not as good as I was hoping it was gonna be. Don't tell grandma that. She listening? Grandma's always listening, right? <laughs> She's over there. <laughs> what do I do with my napkins? <laughs> For those that have been to Tokyo Disney before, I don't like the napkins here. They are basically like plastic and I, they don't do a good job. Especially for me with someone with a beard, it just kind of just smears it all over. I'm gonna look like the Joker. That's kind of what happens. <laughs> So if you have like thick lipstick on or something, like be mindful, it's gonna smear it like all across your face. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the napkins. But it's not just Tokyo Disney, a lot of places in Japan do it, it's very common. So if you've been to Japan before, you know exactly what I'm talking about, or if you live here. Yeah, they're not great, not great napkins, whatever. Now I'm going to attempt to eat a cake with a spoon because I used the wrong utensil for my omelet rice. It's never boring on this channel. This does look really good though. Apple and tea, sign me up. I'm not sure what's on the top. I think that's um, Mont Blanc, I wanna say. Tastes exactly as advertised. There's little bits of apple in there. And you can see the tea. So good. You don't really smell the apple, you really smell the tea on it. I think it's like an Earl Grey tea. And the top, I believe it is Mont Blanc. Let me try some of it. Yeah, it is. It's a little on the sweeter side than typically a lot of these desserts are. Not a bad thing, I'm not mad at it. I do like this cake a lot. And the little bow on the top is super cute. Mm, I, want, I want more of this cake. I'm gonna give this, oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Grandma Sarah, please forgive me. I feel it in my heart. A two and a half. The idea was great, there, it's, just, it's just missing something. It's just cheese and rice. And the omelet, you don't really taste it all that much, right? The meatballs are nice, but I wish there was, it was spicy. They need a spice, they need something to like, punch me in the, I was gonna say teeth, no. Punch me in the teeth, taste buds. Please don't punch me in the teeth. I took a very long time to get my teeth this nice. I had to get braces twice in my life. Not fun, so I take very good care of my teeth. I worked hard for that. The cake, yeah, the, the cake is 
delicious. So yeah, two and a half. I would have given it a two or even a one and a half, but the, the cake helped a lot. And I just got myself oolong cha, oolong tea. Our country bears here, as far as I know, is not changing. As far as is open. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say. As far as I know, ours is not changing anytime soon. So throughout the park, they have some of these stations that have mini mouse shaped hand soap. That's really cute. Let's give it a try. Nope. <laughs> One more time. Ooh, the water's nice and warm. That's nice. Oh, I, I know what I did wrong. That's supposed to be your bow up there. We'll try again later. Well, I'm gonna drown my sorrows in not being able to get the Minnie Mouse hand soap dispenser to work properly. We're gonna get a nice warm drink. Hot orange drink. It says honey scented. It's kind of a hard word to translate. Hachimitsu means honey and fumi. It's like, it's kind of like the flavor, but yeah. It, I can't really translate it properly, but I guess scented's close enough, I suppose. And then there's also this Minnie Mouse headband cookie that looks really cute. It's here at the gazebo. Oh, that wind is um, not nice. So I'm gonna put on my Heat Tech vest. Now this is not <laughs> sponsored by Uniqlo or anything, but I swear by these. So I got a vest and it comes with a nice little bag that actually connects nicely inside the inner pocket, which I really like. Cause I, these are easy to lose. So it just kind of connects on there and we're done. It's very thin, but it, it actually, it does work. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be freezing for a moment here. I am wearing pink to be on point with Minnie. Nice and thin. Ah, perfect. Ta da! There, now I'm not gonna freeze. Now that I am protected from the wind, let's try this orange drink. Now, this is not Mini Mouse event specific. I think it's just for the winter, but I'm freezing. I do like that there's the Mickey apples in here. I, at least I think they're apples. I can't tell. It's a nondescript fruit. All I taste is orange. It is very orange and honey, let's say flavored, honey flavored. It's not bad. I like that it's not that fake orange flavor. Oh, what's, the, there's a candy or something and the honey makes it really sweet. Eh, not bad. I'm gonna give this one a three and a half. Solid three and a half. So there was an orange plopped in the bottom. <laughs> this is a backup thumbnail in case I need to use it. A cute mini mouse kachusha as it's called in Japanese or mini ears as we call it in English. It's a cute little cookie. I really like how detailed that is. It's actually quite cute. It's a very basic sugar cookie. There's nothing special about this. It's pretty thin. I'm gonna have to give the cookie a one. It's a basic cookie. It looks cute. It gets the one point for being cute. Very aesthetically pleasing. For 600 yen, that's pretty expensive for such a small cookie and so thin too. Maybe it feels a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker and not as crunchy, like maybe freshly baked or something. Then I can justify the 600 yen, but yeah. Get it if you want to get pictures. Other than that, don't expect much. If you don't care about aesthetics, the sausage on the bone here is really good and it's 400 yen and that's gonna fill you up a lot more than that cookie. We got ourselves some strawberry milk here, 600 yen. The presentation's really cute and it smells like a lot of strawberry is in this. And there's little white candies, I guess, floating on the top. There's also red ones. I think I pushed them in. Oh, they're like little rice, rice krispies is what the white things are. That's interesting. I think there's chocolate on them. Oh, can you hear that? It's Pop Rocks. There's Pop Rocks in there. Okay. <laughs> I can hear it. 
in my ears. It's weird. You know that feeling with Pop Rocks? Like that's what I'm getting right now. It's definitely strawberry. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a strawberry. I thought it was gonna be very sweet. No, it's actually quite tart. It's definitely one of the better things that we've had today, thankfully. It's still not fantastic. Oh, you know what would have been really nice? If they drizzled like chocolate or something on it, I think that would have helped. It's a solid drink though. Uh, no surprises except for the Pop Rocks. What am I saying, no surprises? There were surprises. There was Pop Rocks in here. I'm gonna give this a three. Give it a nice three. Presentation's good. I like that the Pop Rocks are in there. It's strawberry milk with actual like strawberry compote in there. Yeah. We have about half an hour before the Minnie Mouse parade starts, so we're gonna get a spot right away here. But I wanted to talk to you really quickly about the 2024 updates to our guidebooks for both Tokyo Disney Resort and Universal Studios Japan. Those are coming out right away here. But right now, if you join our mailing list, you can get a free chapter from both of the books and the chapter is when to visit. So when to visit Tokyo Disney, and when to visit Universal Studios Japan. All you have to do is join the mailing list and it'll automatically send you links to download the sample chapter so you can get an idea of what to expect in our wonderful guidebooks. We put a lot of work into them and I'm very proud of them. The team and I put a lot of hours into it, like a ton of hours. So I'll put a link in the description for you, so make sure you join that mailing list to get those free chapters. Also on the mailing list, we will send out when the books are available, which, like I said, it's going to be very soon. Just a few minutes along the parade route, Tokyo Disneyland will proudly present Minnie at Thunderland. Get ready for an adrenaline-filled sensory delight as Minnie's Thunderland brings you a cascade of electrifying dance beats. Come join Minnie and her friends for some high energy excitement. Minnie at Thunderland will begin in just a few minutes. Thank you. There's a huge line to get your picture in front of you, so I'm just standing off to the side. I'm not gonna wait to get my picture in front of this. It's just, yeah. The line is very, very long. That's super cute. This is a line for the little photo op I just showed you. Yeah, I don't really wanna wait that long for it, but there are other ones on the side too. So there's one here and there's another one, identical one just on the other side there. <laughs> this is so cute. The line is a lot more tolerable here. Yay! <laughs> Even though it is cold outside, we're gonna get some ice cream because there is a Minnie Mouse ice cream that I want to try. Also, how cute are these? This is for the event. They would have closed these because it's been really windy. Ice cream when it's eight degrees outside. That's actually not too bad. Growing up in Canada and my family, if you're watching this right now, I miss getting ice cream in the middle of winter. We would always go to like Dairy Queen or McDonald's and you always got ice cream. So this is very nostalgic for me to get ice cream when it is cold outside. And I'm wearing my gloves because my hands are freezing. So this is a strawberry and whipped cheese. Let me say that again. Whipped cheese in here. And I am excited. The motif, very cute, very strawberry. We've come to expect that with Minnie Mouse in her event. And I think these little doodads, dots, candy, sugar, whatever you want to call them, are the same ones that were in the strawberry milk that we had earlier. Huh. So the cheese is very subtle. And that's a good thing. So you can still taste like the ice cream, like the, the iced milk inside of it, but with the hint of cheese. That is nice. I was worried it was gonna be, you know, they took some cheese and blended it up and then just like 
<laughs> that's kind of what was in my mind. It's nice and velvety smooth and it's not overly sweet. And yeah, the candy is on the top of the same ones as the strawberry milk that we had earlier. This is a winner. I'm gonna try and get the strawberries to stop at the bottom. I think there's cornflakes? Oh no, not cornflakes. It looks like puffs of some sort. Yeah, it's just rice puffs. Strawberry syrup with actual strawberries. So this is like a, a really amped up McDonald's sundae. <laughs> this is really good. Mmm, absolute winner. Get this. If you're gonna get a dessert, if you don't care about the souvenir cups or anything like that, Come and get this. This is delicious. This is, for me, five out of five. We're on very different ends of the rating system today, aren't we? Gave some fives, gave a one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm cold. The best part for this too, there was no wait. I just walked right in. There's a little bit of a line now. And by that, I mean there's three people in line. I was wrong. Those were not Rice Krispies in there. Don't ask how I came to this conclusion. I don't know what I was thinking. They're marshmallows. They're little marshmallows. Yeah, the, the five out of five is totally justified with this one, 100%. We are heading to Plaza Pavilion here because you know what? I have not eaten enough today, apparently. Because they have a full Minnie Mouse menu. Look at that. Minnie's cute classic set. Oh, and there's a Minnie's pretty pasta set. Sweet set. I'm probably not gonna get the sweet set. I've had enough of that today. I'm gonna have to decide which one of the two I want. I'll decide when I get inside. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> so there's seats outside and they give you blankets to use when you're seated outside. That is so cute. I haven't seen this before. Obviously you don't get to keep these, but this is the blanket that I was showing earlier in the video. That's also very clever marketing. I'll give them that. They have plastic versions of the food here to check out. You know what, I'm gonna go with this one, I think, yeah. Oh, and there's also, oh yeah, the coasters, cute. Flower syrup and strawberry, that's the drink, okay. Oh, you get a placemat that you get to keep, it's plastic. That's really cute. So I decided to get the Minnie Mouse set and it comes with a pastrami sandwich, french fries, fried chicken with some cheese on it because I haven't had enough cheese today, an egg salad, corn soup, and I also got the special flour syrup and jelly drink. And it comes with a special coaster. So there's three of them. I showed you earlier because there was three. So there's three and we get a random one. So that's fun, we're gonna open that up afterwards. This actually looks really tasty. Oh, I thought this was one of those sleeves that you put it in so your fingers don't get dirty. I was very wrong. <laughs> but this pastrami sandwich looks really tasty. You know, I'm gonna use it like one anyway, whatever. Oh, I took the mini out, oops. There, she was supposed to be in there like that. <laughs> it says, do not eat. But there's the pastrami sandwich. It looks really good, and it smells good, too. Mm. This is basically a Reuben, but they're calling it a pastrami sandwich, so there's sauerkraut inside here. This is delicious. The cheese is good. The pastrami, very tasty. And the sauerkraut is also very tasty. And there's a little bit of like pepper in it. Nice and crunchy on the outside. I'm very happy with this. I am very happy. Oh, after all the misses today, we're finally on a good streak of good food. Mm. Shoestring fries. They're French fries, what do you expect? Deep fried chicken. It is nice and juicy inside. And the cheese is a nice little topping on top of it. Now, is this family mart level chicken? No, but it's still pretty good for a theme park. I'm not gonna complain. The cheese is a nice touch. Some egg salad. It's like a dollop of egg salad. <laughs> There's shrimp on here, which I'm not gonna touch. No, thank you. I've had enough of that today. 
The dressing on the salad is like a roasted pepper, roasted red pepper, and it has a little bit of a spice to it. That is nice. I, I thought it was just gonna be a Thousand Island. Pleasantly surprised with this. Corn soup, a shot of corn soup. The corn soup is nice and warm. It's a bit sweet, but that's kind of how all this corn soup goes anyway. Pretty standard. The pastrami sandwich, perfection. That is really good. I do like the chicken as well. And the salad with the roasted red pepper, that was very much a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna give this a four. Give it a four. Not quite a five, but a good solid four. If you want something nice and hearty, that's quite filling, yeah, get this. Now we're gonna try the drink. So this is the flower syrup and strawberry sparkling drink with the coaster. There's little bits of strawberry in here. And there's also the little silver balls that have been pretty much on every thing that we've had today. It tastes like a flower. <laughs> that, that's how, it, it's very floral. There's jelly in there too. Oh, that's very zesty. <laughs> it must be like a lemon, a lemon jelly, I think. It tastes very citrusy. Oh, there's the strawberry, yeah. Oddly enough, it's not overly sweet. This is a hit. Another hit. Huh. What am I gonna give this? This one gets a four. Yeah. Very refreshing. This is definitely better than the strawberry milk. If you're deciding which one to get, get this one. This one is vastly better. Mm -hmm. You also get a coaster with it too. So let's open this up and see what I got. Oh, that's cute. That's actually the one I wanted. It's felt too. That's nice. That's really cute. I really like that. Oh. With the meal, you also get this placemat and it's plastic. Because, you know, some places you'll get a mat, but it's paper, which, what are you gonna do with a paper mat? Like, use it once? At least with this, you can use it a few times. And it's really pretty. I really like that. It's nice and sparkly. So if you find yourself visiting Tokyo Disneyland during this Minnie Mouse Palapalooza event, here's the food that I think is worth your time and money. It comes at no surprise. This meal here at the Plaza Pavilion with the Reuben sandwich, basically delicious. Also get the strawberry and flower syrup drink. The cheese, whipped cheese, ice cream, which I am still tasting right now. Fantastic, I really love that. And you can never ever go wrong with the Mickey waffle. Just remember if you want to do the waffle, do it first thing in the morning or wait a little bit later, closer to closing time. Just make sure you check the hours. The 40th anniversary is still happening until March 31st, so they still have a lot of the food from that event happening, which I tried last year. I'll put the video up on the screen for you so you can go and watch that. So you can plan between the 40th anniversary food and the Minnie Mouse Palapalooza food. All right, Sparks, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I can still taste the cheese. <laughs> cut it, cut it, cut it. We're gonna do round two of the Minnie Mouse soap. So hand flat and then push. Oh, that is much better. Much better than the last time. That's cute. Hey, Minnie. Bye, Minnie. Oh, it's nice and warm. It feels nice. <laughs>